Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, from our today's session, we will be starting a complete new module in Excel where we will be discussing about different functions that are there in Excel. So guys, Excel has a lot of functions, whether it be text functions, date functions, or uh, you want numeric functions, scientific functions, trigonometric functions. In our today's session, we will be talking about some functions related to the text functions, which will later allow you to clean your data. Now, let's understand some important ones. So here I have some text written over here. We have text number one, which contains WS cube tech, the other text that contains WS cube tech, but white spaces. And then we have another text that is Jaipur. Suppose if I want to trim a data, so equal to trim, trim allows us to remove white spaces. Okay, so let's trim this data and it will remove the white spaces from this data. Now, let's try to find the length over here. For length, we have equal to, to write any function, we first write equal to, then we write len. That is the name of the function. If you open the bracket, it says that pass the text over here. So suppose if I pass this text, which had white spaces, if I press enter, it would tell me that there are 12 letters in it. Okay. Similarly, if I do the same thing that equal to len, but I will try to pass the text, but this time I will pass this text which has been trimmed. And let's press enter and you'll see it has 11 characters, which is actually to WS cube has eight, uh, actually six plus four in tech and plus one space in between. So white spaces will remove the spaces from the left hand side of your data or from the right hand side of your data. Then we have upper function. Upper function allows us to convert our text into upper cases that is equals to Suppose if I write equal to upper and let's pass our text over here. This is our text. If I press enter, it will be converted into upper cases. Similarly, lower converts it into a lower case. So lower and this text and we have a lower case. We actually have a lot of text functions. If you'll go to formulas in the text function, you'll find many of them. We are discussing some of the important ones. Proper allows us to convert our first character into capital. For example, equal to proper okay proper and i'm choosing this text which i have kept in lower and if i press enter see it would convert the first letter of each word into capital that means it's making it a title so if you want to make a title like if you have first name and last name and you want to convert the first letter of each word into capital in that case you need to use proper then we have left left allows us to re uh, retrieve the data on the left hand side of our text for example if we write left and then we pass text. We need to define how many characters we want. Let's say I want only two characters. It would give me WS. For write, again, the very same method equal to write. Again, the same text. But this time, let's say I want to extract four characters. If I press enter, it will give me tech. For mid, I need to write equal to mid and text. This is our text. Now it says start number. From which number do you need to start? I need to start from number three, that is C. How many characters do I want? I want four characters. So comma, four characters. Close the bracket, press enter and you'll get cube. So left will give us WS. That means if you pass two characters in it, it's giving us WS. Right is giving us tech and the mid one is giving us cube. Concat. Concat allows us to con concatenate our data. Suppose if you have data in two to three different columns, in that case, you can use concat method. To use concat method, all you need to do is write concat. What do you want to concatenate? Concatenate means to join your data. So I want to concatenate WS, first cube, comma, then tech. And if I close it, this is how it would look like. If you want to pass a space in between, you can pass a space in between in this way. Like if I put a comma over here and if I pass the uh, space in double quotation like this, it would give me WS cube space tech. So this is how concatenate function works. You can pass it to different columns as well and you can do it in a table as well. Find function. Find function allows us to find the index of a particular value. For example, equal to find. First, what do we need to find? We need to find, let's say, alphabet C. Okay. In which text? In this text. Okay. Comma. 
uh, if you want we can provide the start number as well if you don't want we can just close it like this and it will tell us that small c is on number 10 so as you can see it is case sensitive because we have written small c over here it's case sensitive if i change it to capital c it would tell me that it is on position number three okay that means find is case sensitive while at the same time if i go for search equal to search find text i want to find c within text this one okay even though i have written small c it will still tell me that it is on position number three that means search is not case sensitive find is case sensitive search is not case sensitive okay next we have replace function over here replace allows us to obviously replace our data but it works in a different way okay first of all you pass the old text what is your old text so let's say ws cube tag is my old text start number from where you have you want to start replacing or let's say not let's not take ws cube tag let's take jaipur okay a start number from which number you need to want to start uh, replacing from number one how many characters do you want to replace i want to replace three characters with what value you want to replace it you mean to you need to provide a new text so i want to replace it with j o d h and if i close it 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 gives me jodhpur that means j a i has been replaced with j o d h that is how replace works but here you need to provide which character you want to replace but in here you need to provide the start number the number of characters you want to replace and the text that you want to replace while how substitute works is that equals to substitute you just need to pass the text that this is our text what is our old text j a i is our old text what do you want to replace it with j o d h i want to replace it with and if i press enter okay i, I guess i've made a little mistake okay i haven't closed it with double quotes and now uh, jaipur has been replaced with jodhpur see there is a huge difference between both of them okay both are replacing that is true but this one in this one you can tell that from which number you want to start replacing how many characters do you need to replace while in this one you can replace directly while writing uh, the old text and the new text so i hope after this session after this video it is clear how we can use text functions these are some of the important text functions in next session we will be talking about more different kinds of functions so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session